Today I'm going to be doing a dorm hall kind of what you need to bring to college. So I had made a list of things that I think everybody should at least have with them when they bring to um, when they go to college. I'm going to be a sophomore this year, and so I've learned from my mistakes of last year when I brought too much stuff, and I also kept notes of things that I had to keep buying um, and things that I ended up needing along the way. So. Um, at, in the description box, I'm going to leave a link to a list of college shopping supplies that um, y'all can look at when you are getting ready to go for college. So let's get started on the things that I bought. So starting with bedding, I got this bedding right here from the Navy Exchange. Um, it's a twin extra twin slash twin extra long comes with a comforter uh one pillowcase and two decorative pillows um so this is like what the design looks like and then in the back like that's what the um two decorative pillows are this comforter set did not come with sheets but that was okay because i already have sheets from last year which are perfectly fine like i don't really need to buy new sheets because they match um so that's what my bedding looks like. Um, we'll get back. We're gonna get to this separately. So going off of like bedding and stuff. So I have these sheets. So I have a blue set and I have a gray set. So what's in here are a fitted sheet, a straight sheet, and um, a pillowcase. So I'll end up having two pillowcases on my bed but I'll have like three pillows and plus my two decorative pillows this right here is like a fuzzy furry soft body pillow cover um, that I had last year but I didn't use it because it didn't really match um, what I was going for okay, I'm just so next I have this is like a mattress protector pad that I just put under my fitted sheet so if I like spill anything on it it wouldn't ruin um, my mattress topper and then along with bedding most people are going to want to raise their beds you can raise your beds I like to have my bed super high I am 5'11 so I don't like having a bed that is really close to the ground I'd rather like to hop on it um I have these blocks like these are bed risers I prefer the wooden ones versus the plastic ones just because I'm afraid like the plastic is gonna break um, but I know with the wooden ones it's like it's really solid so I know this is gonna support me I did have two of these so like you can stack them oh and four come in a box I got this from uh, bed bath and beyond so you can stack them like this and they'll just lock like that um, I had two sets so I had actually eight blocks when I first started um, but that made my bed way too high because not only did I use both sets I also had raised the bed itself and that was just really high for me so I took one back and I just kept this set so next we have a throw pillow uh, throw blanket uh, I just wanted something really soft like yeah, I have my days where I'm just like, I just don't want to go anywhere. I just want to sit and watch Netflix. So I'll cur uh, curl up in my blanket and just watch Netflix and eat popcorn. Okay, so going next to bath, um, I got some like washcloths and two towels. You don't really need, you don't need to bring a bunch of towels. Um, I did that last year. I probably bought like four big towels um, and I probably only use two um, I use one and then when I wash one I just bring out the other one and put it back when I'm done um, washcloths I used a lot so I got the eight pack from Target oh these towels right here oh these are hand towels but all the towels I got are from Target um, this throw blanket was also from the Navy Exchange um, 
mattress pads you can basically get anywhere amazon target walmart kmart um you can either these this isn't the fitted one this is just a loose one um you can find it in like the kids section or like where babies are like the other bedding um i got these sheets from target and this body cover body pillow cover cover um for from target as well so since we did the towels, I also have this shower caddy. Um, I got this from Target, I believe, but you can get shower caddies from anywhere. Um, so it has like the, they separate. So you have the big version and then like the little version. Um, and this one I put like my toothbrush, things I need in the morning so I can just grab it. And then like stuff I would need at night, I just put it all in here and then take the whole thing with me to the shower. Um, going back to bedding, the beds, the mattresses are so uncomfortable. So um, to make my bed as comfortable as possible, I got one of these foam mattress covers. I believe this is the one and a half inch thick Tempur-Pedic um, mattress, foam mattress topper. I'll put what it is like somewhere over here, what the box looks like. I got this from um, Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, so since we've talked about bedding, let's now go and we talked about bedding and bath. Let's talk about toiletries. So, um, I've already packed up a lot of my stuff into bins already because I will be moving into my dorm in a couple of months, and actually a couple of weeks. I'm gonna be an RA, so I get to move into my dorm a little bit early. Um, so, starting with toiletries, I had my medicine bag. People did get sick, which inevitably, inevitably made me sick as well. So, um, I, even though I did try my best, I did end up getting um, sick a couple of times. So, having this stuff helped me get better well and kept me from getting sick when uh, my roommate happened to get sick as well. So, we weren't end up sick at the same time. So, I had like nighttime and daytime cough syrup. Um, I uh, had, what is this? Aloe, um, Pepno, Pepto Bismol, uh, Benadryl for itching, like bug bites and stuff. And I also had like cough drops. I'm not gonna go through everything that's in this bag because I don't want you to get the idea that everything that I have in this bag that you need to bring with you as well. Um, people have different reactions to different medications so when you are getting ready to pack up your sick bag for um, college ask your parents like what did they give you or if you remember what they gave you when you were sick um, because they know and they raised you basically your whole life so they can help you make those decisions on what type of medications to bring so going into more like the toiletry stuff, I have to get a lot more. Um, this bin is not even all the way full. When I went to college, I like to make sure my toiletry bin is at least all the way filled so I know I don't have to go out and buy things um, within the school year. So I starting with the first aid kit, I really don't think I ever needed to use this personally, but I had friends who had like cuts and stuff. And so um, having band-aids and Neosporin um, was really helpful. I wear contacts and glasses, so I have brought, I'm bringing actually all of my contacts and extra contact cases and more solution. Um, let's see what else. Since San Diego is really hot, I have to, if I plan on going to the beach or like sitting out for the pool for a long time, um, I do wear sunscreen, but not all the time. Um, so it's kind of, I really should wear sunscreen, but I don't. Um, so then I also have lotion and body wash. Let's see what else. So we have makeup remover wipes. I personally like the Pons one because I don't know. I just like how when you open it, it's like it's not like a wipe. It has like little holes in it, so like really cleans and locks in all the makeup and dirt and stuff. Um, what else? So I have hand sanitizer and I also have hand soap. There are still be times where like you run out of hand soap in the bathroom so having your own is also a plus. So I'm also bringing extra toothbrushes, um, toothpaste, I also have floss. I don't know where it went in here. Um, but I have, oh yeah, here, the extra floss. 
and so I also have tissues in case I was sick and had allergies um, to blow my nose and just um, that. So here's another bottle of sunscreen. Um, what else is in here? So I have rubbing alcohol. I don't know what you use this for your body, but there are times when I got um, Sharpie marker on my clothing or on my bed sheets because I was, I don't know what I was doing, but I ended up getting like Sharpie on my bed sheets and um, the rubbing alcohol actually got it all out. So that's what I have so far and my toiletries. Um, going into this other bin I have, a lot of this stuff um, that I'm about to show you like my costuming it usually goes in my storage ottoman that I'm sitting on right now but right now I have food stuff in here because <laughs> I don't I need other places to put it until I get to campus so I have red and red and white tutus for um, football games and for costume parties and Halloween and stuff um so that's what all I had for costuming because I don't really go out to a lot of costume parties um, so I also got these like organizer thingies from Ikea. I just think they're really cute. I don't know what I'm going to put in them yet, um, but I have this. Um, I also got, my, my mom got me like these popcorn container things um, to put popcorn in and I did use it when I was just feeling like extra, and I just was feeling extra basically uh, when I wanted to sit home and watch Netflix. And so I put popcorn in here instead of eating it out of the bag. I just felt a little bit more like fancy. I don't know. And so um, going into school supplies, I have a lot of school supplies because I like to be prepared. I hate being caught unprepared and then I have to waste money on something that I could have um, bought in the beginning. So I have some folders for my classes, a planner because I need to stay organized, especially with the heavy schedule that I'm going to be having and some notebooks. So I have the college ruled three subjects and the college rule one subject notebooks. Uh, let's see. I also have this pencil sharpener. I like to use wooden number two pencils. So um, for my test, cause I don't, I just don't like using mechanical pencils. It's just something, I don't know. I've never <laughs> used mechanical pencils, like even in elementary school, they're always like, bring your number two pencil. Um, so the Scantrons do take mechanical pencils. I just feel comfortable using the wooden pencil. So I got this like pencil sharpener. I don't know where you can find this because I got this when I was living in Japan. Um, so I also have like pens and highlighters and pencils in here. Um, I have these push button lights that take batteries. I find these to be so helpful. Um, when I was coming in, I didn't want to turn on all the lights, so I had one of these above my door and I just push it and then I could see where I was going so I wouldn't wake up my roommate because I came home a lot of the many days. I came home at like two, three, four o'clock in the morning for the library. So those push button lights were helpful then, and they're also helpful when I had when the school had power outages in the dorm. So there was a day, actually one night, and the power went out for a very long time, but my room was pretty well lit because I had flashlights and these push button lights and just a bunch of emergency stuff. So um, also bring command hooks. So I have the little mini ones for lights. And I have the medium sized one that I used to hang like my keys and my calendar and I think I hung but a bunch of other stuff. And then I have the big ones for I use these to hang my towels and my robe behind the door and behind my closet. Um what else do we have here? So I also have like these cubic cubic bins that I use to put um at one point I had cleaning supplies in it, at another point I had laundry stuff it really was just depending on how i was feeling i have another one of those but it's being occupied at the moment i needed it for stuff so continuing on with like more of the school supply theme um i have okay so continuing on with school supplies i'm going to be going over the things that i have now in my blue bins if you remember from my dorm tour i had four blue like pulley uh, drawer bins and I got those from the container store. 
So going through the school supply bin, um, we have, let's see, we have some goggles. These are my um, chem and biology goggles. I like the color pink, so these are the pink ones. I got these from the student store, the bookstore. I also have some tape, I mentioned this earlier, um, a combo lock. I use this for the gym if I wanted to lock up my either my closet or one of my drawers over a break. I have one of these. I gave one of these away to a friend because he really he needed it. So yeah, I think he still has it, but I, I just bought a new one, so it's okay. So I also have this monthly calendar that I'll use to put on the events and stuff um, that I need to keep track of. Um, I also got some Scantrons. So I have red Scantrons and I also have some green Scantrons. I mostly use the red ones, but I would suggest getting all three. There's also a blue version, which I don't have because the green and the blue um, both work through the same machine. So I have some green and red scantrons. Um, for those of you who will be watching this before I go to, before you go to your orientation, um, or if you're still in the San Diego area, definitely get your scantrons now because they are a lot cheaper. I think they're probably like 15 to maybe 25 cents uh, now in the summer, and they're about 50 cents per scantron in the, um, once school starts. So I also have this clipboard. I use the clipboard because I think the little desk things that they have at each of the seats in the lecture halls, they're just too small for me and I feel like I don't have enough space without like having my arm into the next person. So I got this clipboard. So it's black and white and then it also has like, you can color on it. So when I was bored in class, I would just like doodle, like fill in the um, different designs and stuff. So hopefully this will be complete but either the time, either this year, <laughs> hoping I'm not as bored in my classes, the classes won't be boring, um, but I'd like to get, at least decorate this on my off time. So I also have like pens and extra pencils and erasers. Um, what else do I have? I have notebook paper, printer paper um, for my printer. So I had printer paper, printer ink, um, because I didn't, there were days where I was in a hurry and I didn't have time to wait in the library for my things to print. I could just go on my computer, go to um, click print, and by the time I get to my room, my stuff is waiting for me in the printer. I could have done the same thing in the library as well. It's just you have to pay for that, so that's just like an extra step. And the library was usually farther away than my dorm was in comparison to my classes. So um, I also have this three hole punch. I used this when I wanted to organize a lot of my things um, into binders to keep things organized when I needed to get ready to study for my midterms and for my finals. I also use post-it uh, post it. So I have the mini ones, I have the flag versions, I have the big ones, so uh, I have these. I haven't even opened this yet. Um, so I have that, and what else? I did bring color pencils. I don't know why I brought color pencils. I never needed them, but I'm pretty sure I'll be needing them once I get into organic chem, so these will help me distinguish the different molecules and stuff. Because I'm a, I'm a visual learner, so I, I do well when I have like pictures and stuff to learn from. So I um, also have index cards. So I have the, uh, the lined version and I also have the blank version. I use the blank ones to print on because I don't, sometimes it, they look nicer when I'm making like study cards. Um, and also I don't like my handwriting sometimes so I'll print on the flashcards. Um, so that's basically like whatever you use in high school for like study and learning and stuff, bring that with you. I also brought a, a thumb, or like a pin flash drive um, just because I don't like having a bunch of stuff on my computer. So I have that. I'm actually getting more into like Google Docs now. So a lot of my stuff is just onto my Google Docs account. Um, so now going into cleaning, I have to make sure that my room is at least somewhat clean. I understand like I have my days where I'm just messy, um, but I try to keep the room as 
at least so you can see the floor. That was um, the agreement that my roommate had um, when it turned came to time to do our roommate agreement. Our, we understand like mess is gonna happen, but if at least we can see the floor, then it should be fine. Um, but we did have times where we did a deep cleaning of our room and it usually was when after either one of us was sick. So we at least have a break from the sickness that was going around on campus and throughout the dorm halls. Um, so to clean, like really clean our rooms, we had Lysol wipes, a Lysol spray. Uh, what else did we have? I had some Windex wipes. So I used these to clean our mirrors and our windows because the windows do get grimy and dirty and it's, it's gross. And I had some Pledge multi-surface wipes. So I used these to clean like the wooden parts of the, um, of the desk, the uh, like the drawers and the headboard because they get a little bit dusty. And I also use this to clean my electronics because this is um, the multi-surface one, so I use that as well. I also had a broom and a vacuum to sweep and vacuum our, our rugs. Um, so for laundry stuff, I had OxyClean, like the stain remover, and I also had the Tide to Go stain remover. It's kind of worn out. I did use it a little bit. And then I have my Tide Pods, so if you remember from my video, I had also still have the bleach pods in here as well. And then I have some Downy Unstoppables. So I like my clothes to smell fresh for as long as possible. Even if I clean them, they kind of lose their fresh smelling scent if I don't use this. So I like to use this on um, in the wash. So when you wash your clothes, you, I would like throw one or two Tide Pods in here and then like half a scoop, like half a cup, like one of these cups, half of it into the wash and close the door and I'm all set to go. I also have some uh, Swiffer dusters. These are the Febreze ones. Um, I actually have a lot in here because I didn't use it that much, but when the rooms did get dusty and we were cleaning up, um, these were great to pick up the dust. I also have um, dryer sheets for the dryer, so to get rid of the static. Um, for in terms of cleaning like dishes and stuff, I had a sponge, a brush, and some uh, what do you call this dish detergent. So I used these to um, clean up my dishes, and I also the only thing else I have left in here besides the um, lint roller, which I use during my business meetings or um, business interviews or any type of like um, casual to business casual e event that I had. I don't like lit, so I just use this. Um, I also have is um, um, nitrile exam gloves, and I use these to clean, and I also use these for chem because you do need gloves for chem, and once you take your test, you'll realize like these are the best gloves for you to use um, in your chem classes. But, yes, and <laughs> anyways, yeah, so, this is basically all the stuff that I'm bringing with me to college. Um, a lot of the stuff that you saw in my dorm hall, you'll see again in the dorm hall that I'll probably do once I get settled in. A lot of the stuff that I'm bringing, I had in that video, I'm bringing with me, so I didn't feel the need to show it. Um, but I'll have a list of like college, a sh college shopping list of things that you can use that I found helpful. Um, when preparing for shopping. Uh, so that will be in the description box below. It'll be like a link to a PDF. And so you can print it and take it with you when you get ready to do your college shopping. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> when you do your get ready to do your college shopping, um, whatever you do decide to bring with you, just think about whatever you used at home for like the past 17 to 18 years of your life that your parents have used that for you, that you've used in college, or not college, uh, high school and middle school mostly high school um whatever you use at home bring it bring it with you because you really don't want to be caught with something that you wish that you should have brought because you've used it at home but didn't think you're going to need it in college um so whatever you do use at home i would definitely bring it with you because you will eventually end up needing it um please give this th video a thumbs up if you liked it um comment leave comments in the comment section below if you want to see any other type of videos if you have any questions i do read all comments and i do answer every single question that is asked of me 
So the next time you see me will either be in this room or it will be in my new room at State. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.